Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So it's Thursday, and that can only mean one thing. They've got a new update for Space Engineers, and you're probably wondering what you're going to get your hands on this week. Well, I've got some very exciting things to show you. We've got a few features, but they are very game-changing. So let's start by accessing our toolbar. So the first thing I want to show you is that we've been added four times the size to our toolbar. By using the dot and the comma key, we can cycle through to different toolbars. So that means we could have like a heavy armor toolbar set up. We could have different sorts of heavy armor for building our exterior of the ship. Or we could even filter back to some sort of interior setup so we can build the interior of our ship and make it really simple and really easy. But that's not half of it. Now, what they've done is allow us to control blocks like these through the toolbar. So if we actually jump onto the seat, you can see that we've got operation of a piston and a motor. And so if I start spinning this thing up, you can see that the actual rotor is spinning around and I'm doing this all with the button presses and I can stop it with a button press as well, as well as extending the piston. So if I hit three, you can see we are extending the piston out and then I connect through again and we're retracting it. That simple, really stopping you from breaking the immersion of having to go to one of these menus like that. Now, something else I want to talk about about this is that it's individual to each cockpit. So I can have this cockpit wired up to control these, where on this cockpit there's nothing assigned to it. But let's talk about actually assigning the controls. So as you can see, we're not actually using the K menu, we're actually using the G menu. So by accessing G, we have access to our different building blocks and each one of these items has different variety of features depending on what it is. Where a simple light only has a number of options, you can see here, we have toggle block on and off, increase radius, decrease radius. Something like a piston is going to have a whole variety more. So we've got reverse options, we've got increase velocity, decrease velocity, and whatever we choose will be set to that number on the toolbar. So say for instance that we want to add one of these items, maybe let's for instance add a piston. Now we add that piston to it, and we tell it that we only want to use it as an on-off function. Now the problem is that it's added to the toolbar, and how are we going to get rid of that? So you simply right click and remove from toolbar. It's, it's amazingly simple, but it makes some really effective sort of systems. I'm going to show you some of them now. So first off, I have the ship that I was building in the last patch video. Now I've set it up in the bottom so it's really simple to use, so I can actually disengage these landing gears and flip them up within seconds now so we can disengage the lock by pressing three two and one and landing gears are away without me having to access any menus and we can do the same thing in reverse just look how beautiful that is and then we lock the landing gears with three none of that horrible menu wobbling around now let's get a little bit more complicated with it so this is in one of my hangars and what i tend to do is carry these cargo containers from the ships below and they come up through this elevator shaft. I collect them with my lift, transfer them over here, and then I stack them with my stacker truck. So I'm going to show you how much more immersive it is now with these new features. So if we press T, first off, we're going to activate the lift. We're going to bring the lift up from the shaft below. So a big ship's just dropped off a number of these supply crates, and we're loading it onto the lift one by one. So it should be coming up the shaft as we speak. And there we go. You can see the crates on there. Now what we need to actually do now is extend the piston down to collect that crate and then we need to stack the landing gear in place and raise the piston back up so let's begin by doing that so we're going to press two and seven so we're going to bring that down and then we're going to press seven to lock the landing gear in place and bring it back up now the problem is we need to bring that piston and that system over to this area so the stacker truck can actually sort it out so let's lower the lift back down so it can collect another crate and then now let's rotate. So this is going to be a little bit dangerous, you could say, because I'm not sure which way I've actually set it up. So let's begin the velocity and five. And that's the wrong way. So press six quickly. See how simple that is. It's so it's so cool. And then we need to stop it when it gets to the side angle. So stop that there with that. And then we're going to lower it back down. So we're going to press two to lower it back down. And then once it's in place, we're going to press 7 to lower and drop that box. So let's drop that box off there. And then let's bring the lift back up and back around into position, you could say. So a 4. And that is now ready to collect another box and continue offloading. Just, it was just so, it's just so cool how you can actually do something like that. Oh, no. I've, I'm not, I've not stopped it. Stop it. Stop it. Quickly. Um, 9, 5. There we go. Oh no, it keeps spinning. Oh, what, what, what button do I press? Um, 
So cause this, you've got to remember your keys. Oh no, that just keeps reversing it. Press five, that resets it. Ah, oh, there we go. And I've just turned the power off or anything. So as long as you remember to switch things off and you remember which buttons are assigned to which thing, you can do things really simply. Now, you can also do this on a much smaller scale. So I've built myself a small stacker truck here. And what I use this for is just stacking the boxes on top of each other, like you can see the ones on the right there. So let's activate the wheels. Let's bring it up to this crate here. And we need to get a good grip. We need both claws to function. And we grab them. Now we then need to activate our rear cubes so we're actually stable when we're picking this up. So we activate the rear cubes and we're now we're going to lift it with the pistons. So stacker truck is now lifting it up and we're going to stack it on that box next to us there. So this just helps save space when I'm loading the different boxes around. I also can file them away in one of my other hangers the same way. So let's lower that back down with a 1 and a 2 and there we go stacking is complete and we can move that away it's just really simple so if I activate my G menu press my landing gears and you can just see how I've set up three basic systems for this to work so I'm just gonna actually disable this and show you some of the other options we've got so we can obviously toggle on and off and we can also drag in the landing gears the landing gears are quite cool because you can set them just to standard lock or you can have lock on and off as well as the braking force so it gives you all the options that you could do at that menu but the problem is you only can do one option per space so you can't combine maybe how to how to say increase and decrease so when you press it once it would increase and when you press it again it decrease you have to have a separate spot for them so it can get quite time consuming with having a lot of buttons and you may get a little bit confused but remember you can always cycle between the toolbars and add that function to the next level so let's just add that turn on off and we can stack another box. Now this new feature is going to allow us to do a whole variety of new things and in the weapons department it's going to extend the life of a lot of different other systems as well so let's head on outside and let's talk about weapon systems. So first off we have the importance of building something like this, this rocket sort of turret where we can control it from a separate cockpit maybe within the ship maybe in some weapons command center and we control it and launch weapons another interesting new feature is you can now launch weapons that are attached through a rotor or a piston or whatever you can basically launch them the same way so that's going to really make some interesting weapons sort of constructions so let's begin by launching this one now these controls are a little bit complicated so you may have to give me a minute just to memorize what they actually are so that's left and then we have a reverse we have decreased velocity we also have reversed okay i think i've got used to it so it's four to reverse it back like that and then that locks it into position and then we have up and down controls further across and we have eight to lock that into position and then we have reverse controls yeah so it's a little bit it's, it can get a little bit complicated but that's the price you're gonna have to pay to basically do whatever you want so let's actually launch that into place so that's that's doing pretty well we can actually lock, lock that there or we could lock that there for instance and then we select our rocket launchers and we could fire away so let's actually activate that get some target shot up there and then reverse that maybe and hit that four and go back across the target and give it another good bit of strafing fire very nice we can also lock this into position by just holding it there so you can get some really really nice sort of shots it's just it's just really cool that you can actually control something like that rather than actually being attached to it also means we can do a whole other variety of weapon systems that i'm going to get onto i'll show you in a second so you may have seen this design from last week with the actual rocket pods on the side and i had to access about 100 menus to get to them so let's actually retract our landing gear first off and bring them up into position now i can actually charge the rocket warheads really easily without causing too much damage so if i hit four i increase the thrust on both the rocket pods like so if i hit four you can actually see the thrust slowly increasing until it's at a level where it's going to actually cause some serious damage to that target so once it's at that level we can release with p and launch them directly away wham bam slam and then we can actually get out of there we could launch them from a moving sort of position as well very nice let's show some more hidden sort of weapons now 
Now, before I leave you to get building and start messing around with these new features, I'm going to show you quickly how to set up some groups. And basically, this is a way of combining the previous settings with these new settings to get a lot more out of one button press. So simply, you can see here, we've got this ship and it's currently disguised as just a transport vessel. But there's weapons hidden within inside and we want to get them weapons out all at once. So if we go to K, we can actually find our weapon systems. So our weapon systems are already been added, but we need to actually find the pistons that control them. So the pistons are located here. I could have searched for them and we're going to hit reverse to actually launch them out. But first, we're going to group them back out as weapons like so. And now we're going to leave that menu. We're going to press G to bring up our instructions. And you can see the groups that we've actually made come up at the top. So we can drag weapons over that one. Actually, let's first off, let's actually get rid of our previous weapons tab by removing the toolbar. And then let's add our new weapons and we'll hit that on reverse. And now at a single press of a button, all our weapons should emerge. So let's test that out. So at six, one side's blown off for some strange reason. I don't know why the hell that's happened. But anyway, we've got basic access to our weapons. Seems to be an issue with the piston getting jammed with inside. How very strange. But apart from that, we've got access to our weapons. And we can begin firing away or even ambush a ship that I thought we were simply just a transport vessel. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do. And make a lot simpler with this new feature.